today a critical force. We're going to be looking at the world of collision. been a lot of buzz about the new smart car made by Mercedes. But a lot of people have been skeptical on the safety of these cars. Reason being that they're such a small car with weighing only 1,600 pounds, they're no match for today's vehicles on the road. We need some way of testing the smart car's safety in a high-speed collision. How does 70 miles an hour into a concrete wall sound for a high-speed collision? As you can see here from the impact, the cage is still relatively intact. Some of it even still resembles the look of the smart car. The doors are surprisingly still functional after the crash. Let's look at some of the physics involved in the collision. The velocity or speed of the car is 31.3 meters per second, and the time it takes for the car to stop is about one-tenth of a second. 70 miles per hour equates to about 31.3 meters per second, our velocity just before impact. If we plug in the velocity and time into our acceleration equation, which is velocity over time, we get an acceleration of 313 meters per second squared. Due to the rigid frame structure of the car, on impact its ability to absorb the crushing force is very limited, resulting in most of the energy being transferred directly to the passengers. Using our equation force equals mass times acceleration on a 150 pound or 68 kilogram person, with an acceleration of 313 meters per second squared, we get a total force of 21,284 newtons. This translates to about 4,784 pounds of force. This is a huge amount of force for the human body to sustain. So based on what we've calculated and seen in the experiment, even though the cabin remains intact on a smart car, the forces involved are enough to severely injure or even kill the occupants inside. So it doesn't seem like such a smart choice after all.